good evening uh, in this session i am going to uh, start with the equations of motion in kinematics so basically all these equations of motion are applicable only when the acceleration of the body is uniform so let us uh, start with equations of motion in this session see here equations equations of motion uh, uh, actually equations of motion are the life for kinematics if you understand how to apply equations of motion to the given problem the entire kinematics chapter is done so here uh, u is the initial velocity of a body let us consider a body starting with an initial velocity u so u represents the initial velocity of the body moving with uniform acceleration so we have considered a body starting with a velocity u moving with uniform acceleration and in time t let v be the final velocity at the end of time t v is the velocity of the body and s be the displacement of the body in the in time t seconds s is the displacement of the body in time t s n is the displacement in the nth second particular nth second displacement is called uh, s n displacement of the body in the nth second here the most important thing is the equations we are going to write are applicable only when the acceleration is uniform the equations of motion we are going to write there are applicable only when the acceleration is uniform the equations of motion are v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square v square minus u square <coughs> is equal to 2a s s n is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 you have to have them in your hand so v is u plus at s is ut plus half at square v square minus u square is 2as sn is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 average velocity in case of a body moving with uniform acceleration average velocity in time t is given by u plus v by 2 and displacement and average velocity are related by displacement s is equal to average velocity into time average velocity into time that is here s is equal to average velocity is u plus v by 2 into t so if you want to do the problems very easily you have to be very confident about this formula and average velocity is u plus v by 2 and the displacement is equal to average velocity into time s is equal to u plus v by 2 into t displacement is average velocity into time is that all right is it okay so now we are going to prove all those equations of motion so first let us start with the derivation v is equal to u plus at consider a body starting with an initial velocity u moving with uniform acceleration a let v be its velocity 
at the end of time t. From the definition of acceleration, acceleration is change in velocity by time. So, A is equal to V minus U by T. On applying cross multiplication, V minus U is equal to A T. So, V is equal to U plus A T. First equation is done. So, V is equal to U plus A T. That is the first equation. What is the next equation? S is equal to ut plus half at square. S is equal to ut plus half at square. We are going to derive this equation. Look here. Displacement is equal to average velocity into time. In case of a body, Moving with uniform acceleration, if u and v are initial and final velocities, average velocity is equal to u plus v by 2. So, average velocity into time, u plus v by 2 into t. Now, to prove this equation in this, what is to be eliminated? There is no v term here. So, you have to eliminate V from this equation 1, V is equal to U plus AT. So, I am going to substitute U plus AT in place of V. In place of V, U plus AT by 2 into T. So, S is equal to 2U plus AT by 2 into T. 2u by 2 is u, at by 2 is at by 2 into t. If you expand this, this is ut half at into t, at square. So, that is how we derive the equation s is equal to ut plus half at square. Next, let us go for the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as. So, next we are interested in deriving the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as. I think that is not seen clearly. So, v square minus u square is equal to 2a. Yes. Again, from this, S is equal to average velocity into time. U plus V by 2 into T. This is taken as equation 2. To derive this equation, which has to be eliminated from this? See, there is no T term there. So, T has to be eliminated from equation 1. Equation 1 is V is U plus AT implies AT is equal to V minus U and T is equal to V minus U by A. Isn't it? AT is equal to, if you bring this to this side, V minus U. So, T is equal to V minus U by A. Substitute this in this expression. S is equal to U plus V by 2 into T is V minus U by A. So, what do we get? A plus B into A. V plus U into V minus U is V square minus U square by 2A implies on applying cross multiplication v square minus u square is equal to 2as. v square minus u square is 2as. You see three equations derivations are there on the board. They are very simple. So, the first one is 
from, uh, uh, from the definition of acceleration acceleration is change in velocity by time from which we could prove v is equal to u plus a t next is s is u t plus half a t square we know displacement is average velocity into time remember that is valid only when acceleration is uniform so s is u plus v by 2 into t in this expression as there is no v term we replaced v from this expression so this is derived in the third equation we started with the same s is u plus v by 2 into t but we eliminated t and we got the expression as v square minus u square is equal to 2 <coughs> a yes now let next derivation is yes n is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 where sn is the displacement in the nth second look here very carefully consider a body starting with an initial velocity u moving with uniform acceleration a in the nth second let s n be the displacement u is the initial velocity of a body moving with uniform acceleration a yes n is the displacement in the nth second if we want to derive the equation sn is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 right now look here see here let this be the displacement of a body s1 be the displacement of the body in n seconds s2 be the displacement of the same body in n minus 1 seconds then so here s1 is the displacement of that body in n seconds s2 is the displacement of the body in n minus 1 seconds then displacement of the body in the nth second is this one this is the displacement of the body in the nth second that is sn from this diagram it is very clear s n is equal to s1 minus s2 this is the fundamental point we should understand i am repeating that's why so we have considered a body starting with an initial velocity u moving with uniform acceleration a yes n is the displacement in the nth second of that body we wanted to prove sn is u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 so here let us assume yes 1 is the displacement of the same body in n seconds s2 is the displacement of the same body in n minus 1 seconds then s1 minus s2 will be the displacement of the body in the nth second right now here what is s is equal to you know this equation s is equal to ut plus half a t square where s is the displacement in t seconds based on this equation you tell me what is the displacement of the body in n seconds that is in t seconds displacement is s in n seconds displacement is noted as s1 the meaning when t is equal to n s is equal to s1 in n seconds displacement is s1 if you substitute in this expression s1 is equal to un plus half a n minus 1 whole square sorry sorry half a n square displacement in the n in n seconds look here s is a displacement in time t s is equal to ut plus half a t square s1 is the displacement in time n so s1 is equal to 
<coughs> un plus half a n square. S2 is the displacement in n minus 1 seconds. In n minus 1 seconds. So, u n minus 1 plus half a n minus 1 whole square. Let us try to expand this u n minus 1 plus half a n square plus 1 minus 2 n. Let us expand it u n minus u plus half a n square plus half a minus half a into 2 n. Let us take this as equation 1, this as equation 2. <coughs> See here, S m is equal to S 1 minus S 2 implies S n is equal to S 1 that is u n plus half a n square minus S 2. So, minus u n minus of minus plus u minus half a n square minus half a plus half a into 2 n. Now, u n, u n gets cancelled half a n square half a n square. What are the terms left? It is u minus a by 2 plus a by 2 into 2n. So, let us take a by 2 as a common factor. u plus a by 2, here there is 2n, here there is minus 1. So, s n is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1. That is the derivation. Okay. So, we learn all the four derivations that is important in the public examination point of view that is for, uh, for your board exams. But for your objective examinations, you have to remember all the four equations that is V is u plus a t. Look into those four equations. V is u plus a t. S is u t plus half a t square. V square minus u square is 2 a s. Yes. And S n is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2 n minus 1. Okay. Those four equations you must understand to solve the problems. Okay. I will stop here for today. Thank you and bye bye.